y'all seen the intro man it's your boy jay young back at it with another video now i feel like i might have made one of the most dominant big men in 2k now y'all see jay young center right handed we, well you know it don't really matter what hand you want to make or whatever i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the build your boy is seven foot 255 pounds seven foot seven wingspan i had him be defined i don't want to be too big you know what i'm saying but your boy was looking more towards like a wilt type of build but uh you know well, he's, he's kind of his own player because at the same time wilt had no free throw whatsoever he was shooting like 44 percent from the free throw line or something crazy like that one season don't want to do that but um right now man i'm, I'm, I'm at the finishing right now let's go ahead and start from the top down you know what i'm saying Finishing was looking pretty solid. We got the 99 standing dunk. I kind of wish I could have a, a higher standing dunk. But I said standing dunk, a uh, driving dunk. But, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I have a, a 70 driving dunk, 74 free throw, which I'm very happy about. I got, boy, my defensing is where, oh, my goodness. 99 offensive and defensive rebounding, including block. Come on now, like what? Like what more can you want? And look at the bad spread. Come on, I ain't even gonna talk about them. I'm just gonna let y'all look at them. Like, look at that. Everything purple. Everything that I would want, besides interceptor. Everything I would want <laughs> is purple, man. Everything Hall of Fame that I could need. And then here's the thing: if y'all go to West Virginia in college, that 37 can turn into a 40. Could give you plus three defensive and plus one finishing. So as you can see with the bad spread, I have 37. Uh, defensive for playmaking and I also have um, 30 finishing so West Virginia give you plus one finishing and plus three defensive so at the end of the college career I have 31 finishing and I have um, 40 defensive badges and 40 isn't more than enough for me I'm not gonna hold y'all so yeah to me this build I'm not gonna lie to you it's probably my best build that I've ever built for a center, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not really a person who likes to play a stretch big or anything like that. I just want a big that can shoot the free throws when he gets fouled. You already know they're gonna be hacking like a mug when I start killing them. You know what I'm saying? And especially once I get that mouse in the house thing, I'm gonna be unstoppable. Like, how are you gonna be able to stop me? And also, with the physicals, my speed is at a 60. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping up with people. Like, when I'm on wreck and when I'm on um the uh, 3v3 and also when I'm on park. I hardly have trouble keeping up with anybody running down the court. The only thing I have trouble with is like perimeter defense, of course, whatever. But on to the takeovers, I got box out wall and then also the uh, paint intimidator. I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all all the ones that they have. Um, all the I, I basically get all the rim protecting ones, get all the glass cleaning ones, and get all the post uh, the post scoring ones as well. Um, when I first started, I was using the uh, power back downs, and eh, it's, it's it's okay to me. I mean, I ain't really gonna go crazy over it, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, I, like, I feel like it's, I feel like back down puncher is enough. What I like is the post shot daggers. I be in the hook shots like crazy. And then I also want to paint intimidation because, again, with Rim Protector Hall of Fame or Rim Protector even on gold, you'll be blocking stuff like crazy. So, yeah. There it is, man. Um, That's basically my whole build. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, let's go ahead and see the comparisons. As y'all can see, I made a paint beast, which is probably pretty obvious. But comparison to Kevin Matumbo, Clint Capella, and Rudy Gobert, I'm not going to hold you. I feel like this is more like, kind of like a Wilt build. Um, I was thinking more like a Shaq build, but he's a little bigger. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I guess I guess you could call it a Shaq build as well because of the way he was more run on the floor and everything because Wilt was probably a little faster. I'm not going to hold you. Well, not even little. He was probably a lot faster. And he was a physical specimen. But yeah. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this build in the comment section, man. Let me know if y'all want to um, see more of this uh, build as well. And uh, also, real quick, I wanted to show y'all like where I'm at right now. Right now, again, all the clips that you have seen and are going to see after this is me at like an 85. Right now, I'm at an 87, which I'm showing y'all right now. I'm at an 87 overall. So, it's not like I'm like a 99 doing this to people. You know what I'm saying? I, and I can't wait to get a lot more gameplay out because i barely even been playing with him but i'm not gonna lie to you this dude is just a monster man plus a lot of people are making these 6-9 versatile paint beast stretch bigs uh, bigs or whatever look i'm not gonna hold you you'll see it in uh in, uh, in a clip you're able to lock them down pretty easily now granted i'm pretty sure probably some common ones that probably know how to get around or whatever but I'm not gonna hold you versatile paint beast i've gone against i've been hanging right with him so it's like you make a person seven foot able to keep up with them and then when they get to the paint able to dominate them so 
And if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you so much for watching it, man. Thank you for giving giving this a chance, man. Go ahead and try this build out. If you want to make some tweaks to it, go ahead. You know, you ain't got to make it, you know, I almost say word for word, but you know, attribute to attribute basically. But yeah, uh, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that bell for notifications about when I'm going to be uh, posting any more videos as well. Man, I'm going to be trying to come up with some more uh, gameplay on this build in particular. And also, I'm going to I'm gonna start going into current gen a little bit too, but I ain't going to reveal everything I'm going to do. But yeah, do me a favor, if you like this video, man, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and then Jay Young out.